Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. I, 29 male, found out about my girlfriend, 31 female, of 11 years affair and I am struggling to cope. My girlfriend and I have been together for 11 years and have one lovely kid who is 7 years old, as well as another child who is 15 years old from a prior relationship. We met when I was 18 years old, and I took on the burden of raising my stepdaughter as if she were my own. Our relationship, like many others, has had its ups and downs. I was in my early 20s and had never been in a long-term relationship. I made errors and she made a lot more. However, I have been an honest, loyal, and loving partner for the previous five years. I determined two years ago to be as unselfish and compassionate to everyone around me as possible. I had certain things happen in my life at the beginning of the year that put me in a really bad place, extremely depressed. She was ideal in the beginning since she was always there for me. She created me a calendar to remind me every day how much she cared for me, and she got me a few sentimental items that helped me get through the tough times. I haven't felt like myself in 10 months, and I have admittedly retreated, but it was in the darkest times that I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with this lady and I began to arrange my proposal. My partner was furloughed for the most of the lockdown, but she finally found a new job that made her happy. My fiancé began to drift away from me in the beginning of October. She no longer stated she loved me, no longer embraced or kissed me, and I began to have doubts. I spent time working on myself and our connection. When I was nearby, she would conceal her phone or swiftly depart WhatsApp. However, she began coming to the gym at the end of October, and one night her class was delayed for hours after she finished work. She said that she would wait outside until the lesson began. It made no sense to me. When I contacted her after work, she said she was in the vehicle, but her explanation was that she was working late at work and rushing to complete things before going to the gym. I activated Locate My iPhone to learn she wasn't where she claimed to be. She was standing outside another man's home. I asked her about it, and she lied, first claiming she was at work, then saying she was going to have a short cup of tea before class, until I finally disclosed that I knew precisely where she was because of the tracker. She complained that I had violated her privacy and that I was some weirdo for following her every move, but she soon admitted that she was there to meet another guy. She had an affair with a guy at her new work. I invited her to come home and speak about it but she declined and instead switched off her phone. After our chat, she invited him into her vehicle, and they went to a nearby park and spent hours together. I walked over to his home and discovered that they were not there. When I recounted the scenario to his father, his sole answer was sounds about, right, he does this. She drove to her mother's home after that, continuing sending him loves and apologizing for going around to his house with emoticons. We eventually chatted, and she showed me the few messages she hadn't yet deleted. He was chuckling about how I nearly found out about their romance a few days before when she believed I was looking through her phone. I had not had chance to do this yet. When I called him and informed him about how he was harming a seven-year-old daughter, he smiled and could only answer, I'm not doing anything illegal. I am a one-man band. We ultimately decided that she would ban him from everywhere and that she should quit her new job to focus on us. She revealed some of the other challenges we were dealing with, one of which being money. She would never tell me what type of financial situation she was in. She finally admitted to me that she was 400 overdrawn, with another 300 on the way. I was a fool who fell for the notion that she was final, telling the truth and gave her the 700. After a short time, she unblocked me from all sources and unblocked him. I had begged her to go to counseling but she refused since she couldn't afford it. She spent the 700 to rent a hotel room with the guy with whom she had an affair, which costs the same as counseling. She claims that the previous 11 years have been a nightmare for her and that I haven't loved her or shown her enough attention. This is not correct. I'm a naturally loving person who lavished her with attention. I had a terribly bad 10 months, but I was finally beginning to feel better about myself. She calls me a narcissist and we have a lot of you talks. Refuses joint custody. 
Last week, though, I had my daughter with me five slash seven nights since she wanted to visit this guy instead. I left every discussion feeling that everything was my fault, that I was useless, and that I should have done more during the preceding year. She refused to sit down with the children to explain what was going on because it needed to be done with her so she could calm her children and not feel abandoned. However, due to the fact that I have my kid virtually every night, this is difficult. It's not fair to her. She's asking precise questions about what cheating is. I also wondered why I should have to feel as though I had abandoned her. Why should we agree to it on her terms? These decisions were made by her, not mine. To top it all off, I found out yesterday that the guy she's chosen has a drug problem to the point that he's not allowed to visit his current children and recently abandoned his ex because he got her pregnant and refused to abort their kid. Sorry if this is confusing or all over the place. My brain is a mess right now. There is a lot more, but I believe this is sufficient. Is there anybody who can give me some advice? Story 2 Wife cheated on me with close friend. I, male 36, just caught my wife, female 31, cheating on me. It came right out of the blue. First, some background information. The two of us have been together for 10 years, and we've been married for four. I was her first serious lover, and I was also the one with whom she had the experience of losing her virginity. She was the second important connection I had in my life after my parents. I had a previous girlfriend for a couple of years, but we amicably broke up a couple of years before I met my wife. We've always been absolutely satisfied with our relationship. If slash when we were experiencing difficulties, relationship household duties, etc. We would speak up and work things out. As far as I was aware, everything was in order. Throughout the day, we spoke about everything and everything. As a result, I reasoned. It was strange that I didn't see my wife when I came home from work today, around the same time, maybe a little earlier, but just by 10 slash 15 minutes or so, since she works from home, which was strange because her car was in the driveway, but I figured she had gone to the adjacent business. My wife was having relations with a mutual acquaintance of ours when I walked into the bedroom. Please accept my apologies if you do not want to know the facts, but I feel they are important and will explain why. In addition to being clothed in a school uniform, my wife's hair was tied back in pigtails and she had the face of a mutual friend ejaculating on her shoulder. I just got outside and walked away. They were both taken aback when they realized I was there. I'm now enjoying a drink at a local bar. She sent me a WhatsApp message and tried to phone me, but I'm not sure how to reply to her messages. They were doing something major since she was dressed in school uniform, which is something that I have an obsession for. When I told her about it a few years ago, she said she didn't think it was right for her. I was considerate of their wishes and withdrew my offer. The same holds true for ejaculating in front of her. When I inquired about them, she informed me that they were not suitable for her, which I liked. So what gives you the right to do it with this other dude? And that's before we even get into the fact that she cheated on me with another man. She is the love of my life. I migrated to another country in order to be near her. What should I do in this situation? Because it occurred with one of my few pals, the situation was made worse, who is also married, by the way. There is no telling how many times something like this has happened in the past. We are fortunate in that we do not have any children to consider. What should I do at this point?